The horseshoe crabs are coming! Each spring, two of the world's greatest animal migrations meet on the beaches of the Delaware Bay. The first to come is the horseshoe crab, one of the world's oldest animals. The second to come, because of the horseshoe crab, are the different species of birds such as the ruddy turnstone and the red knot, whose migration from the southern tip of South America to the Arctic is one of the world's longest migrations. They meet at the same time and place every year in a true natural wonder of the world. The horseshoe crabs are here to lay their eggs. Let's go check them out. Look, it's a horseshoe crab. These guys have been around from the time of the dinosaurs. Existing in our world before the first man and even dinosaurs, the horseshoe crab is closer in relation to a spider or a tick. They can be found on the Atlantic coast from Maine to Central America, but the largest population of spawning horseshoe crabs can be found in the Delaware Bay. During breeding season, they work their way towards the shore and use the strongest tides of the season, during a full or new moon, to help themselves get onto the beach. As they come ashore, a male finds a female and attaches himself to her back, though it isn't uncommon for a number of males to follow the same female. This one's the female, and that one's the male. She then digs a hole in the sand and lays a clutch of four to 5,000 eggs. She can lay several clutches before the tide goes back out and she returns to the water. Each female will return to shore a number of times each spring and lay up to 100,000 eggs. This, I see its legs and I see the shells on there. It's always important to flip over as you cross so they could go in the sea. I can't believe he's alive. Don't worry, they will hurt you. I'm, I can, you can even pet one. Looks like she's laying her eggs. As many as one and a half million shorebirds travel to the Delaware Bay to descend on the beaches where the ancient horseshoe crabs have been laying their eggs. Though the female horseshoe crab takes great care to bury her eggs, they often come back to the surface. The movement of the waves or other horseshoe crabs digging around in the same place can accidentally dislodge the very eggs of the females, making them fair game for the hungry shorebirds. When the tide comes in, the horseshoe crabs come. When the tide comes out, the birds come. I see a lot of bird tracks. They must be close by. <laughs> The eggs that make it back to the surface become an essential source of food for the birds such as red knots, ruddy turnstones, sanderlings, and many more. Having traveled as many as 5,000 miles from their wintering home, with thousands of more miles to go to get to their breeding grounds, the red knot arrives at the Delaware Bay exhausted and in need of some serious calories. The horseshoe crab eggs they feast on are critical to their survival. Its two-week stay, munching on horseshoe crabs at the Delaware Bay, lets the red knot double its weight so that it has the strength to make it to the Arctic. All right, Professor, so this is what I'm saying about, this is what I mean when the tide comes in. You can see that the water is coming closer to us. Yeah. See how it's doing that? Yeah, I that mean That means the tide is coming in. And that's from the force of the moon. Where is the moon? Ah, uh, it's around here somewhere. Tonight's a full moon. There'll be more horseshoe crabs than ever. Going out to Slaughter Beach over a number of days to check out the horseshoe crabs and the shorebirds as they migrate was a wonderful way for us to discover our world in a meaningful way. What are some neat things that happen around your home? Please share in the comments below.